Step into the captivating world of 1,933 Seconds King Kong, a timeless classic that continues to stand tall in cinematic history. Its enduring qualities lie in the groundbreaking special effects that brought the colossal ape to life, captivating audiences with a story that transcends time. The film's iconic scenes atop the Empire State Building and its innovative use of stop-motion animation remain a testament to its enduring legacy within the industry. This cinematic gem prompts reflections on cherished memories associated with the larger-than-life spectacle it delivers. Whether it's the first time witnessing Kong's grandeur on screen or the thrill of revisiting this classic with loved ones, King Kong has etched itself into the hearts of many. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share the magic that King Kong has brought into your life. When King Kong first aired on television in 1956, it drew high ratings but had to be cut by about 30 minutes to fit a 90-minute time slot with commercials. This version was a nationwide success but omitted original footage. In 1952, when reissued, the film added close-up shots of the Empire State Building from the 1950s to the scenes with Kong. However, these shots differed in clarity from the 1933 footage due to improved film processing. Kong's official height on posters was 50 feet, though he varied between 19 and 25 feet in different settings. Even before the script was complete, Marion C. Cooper began filming action scenes for the 1933 movie King Kong. During breaks in shooting The Most Dangerous Game, which also took place in a jungle setting, Cooper filmed sequences with Fay Ray and Robert Armstrong. This unusual approach to filmmaking resulted in capturing pivotal moments before the script was finalized, showcasing Cooper's determination to bring Khan to life. This unconventional method laid the groundwork for the movie's iconic sequences, capturing the essence of adventure and anticipation. The 1933 movie King Kong made a mark in cinematic history in multiple ways. One intriguing aspect revolves around its real count. Initially set at 13 reels, Marion C. Cooper, the film's creator, added another scene solely to avoid the superstitious number. This addition, the elevated train sequence, was actually a desire of Cooper's from the start, leading to the film's final cut comprising 14 reels. This decision not only defied superstition, but also fulfilled Cooper's vision for the movie. This meticulous attention to detail in constructing the film's length showcases the dedication and commitment behind the scenes that contributed to the movie's success. An enduring legacy. The scene with Fay Ray and the T-Rex marked a pioneering use of rear projection at RKO. Pictures. Lasting just a few minutes on screen, this sequence took three days to shoot. It was a groundbreaking moment, introducing a technique that would later become standard in filmmaking. The meticulous effort invested in this short scene reflects the dedication and innovation behind the creation of the iconic 1933 King Kong film, showcasing how even brief moments contributed significantly to cinematic history. Marion C. Cooper envisioned a colossal ape atop the world's tallest building, battling airplanes. This iconic vision set the stage for the 1933 King Kong film. The creation of the 18-inch model of Kong involved a meticulous process, blending metal mesh, rubber, foam for muscles, and rabbit fur for hair. Interestingly, costume designer Walter Plunkett, later famed for Gone with the Wind, crafted the beauty and the beast costume worn by Andero during Carl Denham's filming. Cooper's reverse engineering of the story from his aerial ape spectacle encapsulates the film's origin, while the intricate model making and uncredited costume design underline the behind-the-scenes artistry that enriched this cinematic classic. The native village huts and the Great Wall in the 1933 movie King Kong were repurposed sets from other notable films of that era. The huts were leftovers from RKO, S. Bird of Paradise, while the Great Wall was initially part of Cecil B. DeMille's The King of Kings. Later, the same Great Wall set found use in David O. Selznick's The Garden of Allah and was eventually transformed into Civil War-era buildings, burned, and demolished for the iconic burning of Atlanta scene in Gone with the Wind. This recycling of sets speaks to the resourcefulness of the film industry during that time, repurposing elaborate constructions for various cinematic moments, weaving a historical tapestry through different movies. 
The success of the 1933 movie King Kong is often hailed as the savior of RKO. Pictures from Bankruptcy Released during the Great Depression, when a movie ticket typically cost around 35 cents, anecdotes suggest that some secondary sale tickets reached an exorbitant $20 highlighting the tremendous value placed on attending this iconic film. This cinematic triumph not only captivated audiences, but also played a pivotal role in rescuing the studio from financial ruin. Directed by Miriam C. Cooper, this classic showcased groundbreaking special effects and storytelling that reshaped the landscape of Hollywood filmmaking, cementing its place in cinematic history. The action of the 1933 movie King Kong predominantly unfolds under the cover of night, a deliberate choice by the filmmakers. Except for the initial meeting in the native village, the narrative unfolds in the darkness, heightening the suspense and emphasizing the mysterious and dangerous nature of Skull Island. This selective use of light and darkness contributes significantly to the film's atmosphere and sense of foreboding, setting the stage for the thrilling encounters between Kong and the explorers. This deliberate contrast between the sole daylight scene and the pervasive darkness underscores the tension and danger lurking in the heart of the mysterious island, amplifying the impact of Kong's dramatic appearances and confrontations. King Kong's iconic roar was a blend of lion and tiger roars, altered to create the larger-than-life sound of the colossal ape. The method used to produce this distinctive roar set a precedent for innovative sound design and filmmaking. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, the creation of the film's animated models was a painstaking process, requiring meticulous frame-by-frame -frame shooting that could take an entire afternoon just to capture a single second of screen time. This stop-motion technique, used notably in the intense seven-week filming of King Kong's battle with a pterodactyl, became a time-honored method for visual effects artists for decades to come, influencing greats like Ray Harryhausen and Phil Tippett. These behind-the-scenes details highlight the groundbreaking efforts and techniques that contributed to the enduring legacy of the film, both in sound design and visual effects, shaping the future of cinematic artistry. As the colossal shadow of King Kong fades into the cinematic sunset, it leaves behind a legacy etched in the hearts of those captivated by its grandeur. Whether you were drawn to the iconic Empire State Building climb or the poignant tragedy behind the beast, Kong's resonance is timeless. Take a moment to delve into your personal connection with this 1933 masterpiece. Perhaps it stirred an unbridled sense of adventure, or maybe it sparked a fascination for the untamed beauty and the misunderstood. Share your cherished moments, the scenes that still echo in the corridors of your mind, or the emotions that King Kong's tale evoked within you. In this shared nostalgia for a classic, we find threads that bind our diverse experiences. So, let's celebrate this cinematic marvel by weaving our stories together, honoring the awe-inspiring legacy that King Kong bestowed upon the world. Thank you for joining in this journey through the jungles of memory and imagination. Your reflections add depth to the enduring legacy of King Kong, shaping a collective tapestry of admiration and wonder. Gratefully yours for your time and fervor.